so boom, okay, so boom, look, check this out. So my brother ended up getting locked up when he was about 16, about 16, 17 years old. And the crazy thing about that is the guy that my brother got locked up with is the same guy that uh was the victim on my case, the one who passed away, the one who got shot. They had ended up, they had, let me give, I'm gonna give y'all a little bit a little background. They had ended up getting locked up together on the dope case. They got pulled over somewhere and the dude dropped the drugs in the car. So they ended up charging them both with the drug and him and my brother ended up going to do some time in juvie. When they did that time in juvie, my brother came, when my brother come home around that time, you know what I'm saying? I done started getting off the chain a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really hitting licks or nothing. I'm kind of a burglar at the time. You know what I'm saying? I, I might burglarize your home. I hadn't really, I hadn't graduated, you know what I'm saying, to, to official stick up kid, you know, mask on, you know what I'm saying, gun, don't nobody move but the money. I hadn't graduated to that level. But I was most definitely on my way because of the neighborhood we was living in at the time. See, not only not not only had my brother got locked up, my mama and her boyfriend they had, had the big fight. You know what I'm saying? So when they split up, we ended up moving. Kinda, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's the projects. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's going down in the area where we moved at. But me at the time, I ain't really familiar with the lifestyle that's going on over here where we moved at. All I do remember is. When we was over there cleaning up that trailer before we moved in, I remember looking at my mom. My mom was looking at me. Me and my mom were looking at each other, and I said, "Hey, uh, who 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 moving in here?" <laughs> my mom would look at me and say, "Will." I said, "Not me. <laughs> I'm gonna stay with Tim because I can tell you know what I'm saying. It's already little holes in the corner of the trailer." And if you don't come, if you come from the slums like I come from the slums, you know what them little holes in the in the corner of the trailers, you know what that is. It's it's rats up in here. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for little turrets on the floor. I got, who finna stay here? I'm not who why is we over here cleaning this up for? I'm not I'm not finna come over here. To, if rats is eating through and coming through coming through tunnels in here, they got underground tunnels in here, mama. You, you don't you see this hole right here? Boy, we gonna put something on that. Nah, no, then you gonna put something on it. There ain't no we finna do nothing. Why? Why would you pay first and last month rent and go put and go pay the light bill? Probably got the light bill in my name as a child. Why would you go pay first and last rent? It's a rat hole right there. It's a rat hole over here. It is a couple of turn droppings over here. Why is we in here? Why is we even here anyway? Huh? Huh? Boy, go on somewhere. We finna move. That was up. I, that was up. <laughs> I'm gonna go on about my baby. But let me tell y'all about my brother. My brother, now that's a true story. That's a true story. If you don't hear my album, you don't hear me talk about it a lot. My brother, I don't wanna say he's a coward. I don't wanna say he's a coward. But my brother wasn't the. I was the one who was off the chain. I, I was the one, you know what I'm saying? I was I was kind of gunshot. You know what I'm saying? I'm the one who. I'm, I'm going to pop it off. My brother was the one who was going to call me and say, hey, bro, he, he, he was that dude. He was the one who basically was always using me. I don't know how many people on here got siblings and, and, and got siblings that they ain't realize that's always using them because they ain't going to do something. They, they, they ain't going to do what need to be done in a situation when something need to, you know what I'm saying, be done. See, my, my brother was that. My brother was the dope boy that did a front out all of this work. To all these people who who know, ah, oh, we we can get over on, you know what I'm saying? We can just pay him a little bit. We ain't got to pay him anything. And my brother, knowing that, he'll give you four and a half. He free you four and a half for thirty two five, maybe thirty five hundred. If you don't really fool with you, if you don't understand them prices, because you ain't never been in the game. If you ain't never been in the game, I advise you to not never get in the game. You know what I'm saying? So he he in the front you a four and a baby, tell you owe him thirty five hundred. You feel like oh, I'm gonna just give him twenty five hundred in a week. You know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna be stunting that other thousand. And now he done took a loss. And now that he done took this loss, guess who he calling? He calling me. Let me call, bro. He calling me. Bro, I pick up the phone. You know, I'm on go mode at all the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm TTG. You don't know what TTG is? Yeah, because you was never trained to go. See, you still ask what TTG mean, and I just said what TTG mean. I just said you ain't trained to go. Do the TTG. Y'all doing all these other analogies and all these other old acronyms and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So look, check this out. <laughs> so, so my brother. He'll call me. Hey, bro, what you doing? I'm already knowing what time it is. Man, I ain't doing nothing chilling. What's up? Man, I need you to go pull up on such and such and go get that little bread for me. What he owe you? And never did my brother say, hey, look, check this out. Go get that bread. 
I'm gonna let you 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 keep you for five hundred up. You can go keep you for five hundred up. Just go get that bread and then bring to him. Cause I don't know what type of dude games dude playing. You know what I mean, people? I done pulled up on my brother. To, hey, let me get that bread. You know how many shoulder pops I done did? You you don't know what the shoulder pop is, do you? Cause you ain't never been in the streets. That that when you checking somebody. When you do that right there, how many of y'all done had to hit somebody with that? And you got to put a little authority in it. You got to put a little, you got to be a little aggressive with it. You know what I'm saying? You got to put a little arm. Hey, let me get that. Hey, oh, 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 wait a minute. You See, when you do that right there, you let the person know off the top. Hey, let me get that. Let me get that. <laughs> Ain't nothing to talk. Let me get that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I done had to do that a couple times. I'm gonna give y'all. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna give you one time that I had that I had to do this right. My brother done called me about this dude. See, I'm just giving y'all a little background about my brother so y'all can understand what happened when, when it went down in the cell. My brother called me one day. This dude owed my brother about five racks. You don't know what five racks is five grand. You don't know what five grand is five k. You don't know what five k is five thousand dollars. He owed my brother about five thousand dollars. He been owing it for a while. He run around here serving people. He run around here. He he standing in line buying new Jordans. He standing in line buying new Jordans. He fresh all the time. He doing all this old other stuff. He he ain't paid my brother the money though. He ain't paid my brother no money. So my brother finally called me. You know he, he you know he called a pit bull. Hello. Yeah, it's the same wallet too. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the same thing I told you last time. Don't say nothing about my wallet. I promise you. If you say anything about my wallet in this comment section. I'm going to go to your page. I'm going to go to your Instagram page. I'm going to go to your Instagram page. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go to your Instagram page. And after I go to your Instagram page, I'm going to see if you got some relatives on there. And then I'm going to go find you on Facebook. And when I find you on Facebook, I'm going to go to all your old pictures back in 2005. When you were wearing them big t-shirts and them, and, them, and, 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 and them bell bottom pants and, and them little raggedy shoes you wear. I'm going to go all the way down your, I'm gonna go all the way down your timeline. And I'm telling you, who is this right here? See, you ain't got no profile picture. I don't even only know if you're real people. This dude right here, I don't even know if you're Vince. Vince 1990. It was a, I'm going to remember. Let me screenshot this name real quick. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Because I done told this dude right here, he think it's a game. He think it's a game. Y'all go follow me on Snapchat because it's going to be a story time about Vince 1990. Y'all go follow me on Snapchat. Joe T. Listen, go follow me on Snapchat because I promise you I'm going I'm to turn, I'm going to blaze it. Joe T. 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 Baker. Go follow me on Snap because it's going down. Joe T. 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 Baker, I'm telling the story right now. I need everybody on here to double tap the screen for me real quick. Y'all, double tap the screen. If you ain't already following me, do me a favor. Hit the follow button. I got 1,200 people on here. I know all 1,200 of them ain't follow me. I'm finna start back telling the story. But look, the commercial break me real quick. The story that I'm telling right now, it's in this book right here. The Life of Boo Baker. And if you ain't already got my book, y'all need to go get the book, man. I got the book on sale. You can get both my books on sale right now. Two for 35. Two for 35. But look, check this out. Okay, so boom, so my so my brother called me, tell me to go get this money from this dude, right? I'm guessing the dude I already know the call done been made. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I'm assuming. Cause th th this how I'm rolling. If the call been made to me, it ain't nothing else to talk about. It ain't no explaining to do. It ain't no oh hold on, let me call. It ain't it ain't none of that. When I pull up, we come and show the popping, folks. You know what I'm saying? When I pull up, it's show the popping. Let me get that. It ain't nothing else to talk about. So I see what dude that I bust a U-turn in the middle of the road. I got a strap on me. I got that iron on me. 21 extendo, one in the head. I'm driving with no license. If I ain't got no license, what they tell you? I ain't got no, I'm not on the insurance or whoever this car belong to. Whoever this automobile belong to, if I ain't got no license, what they tell you? I ain't on the insurance. What they tell you? I'm breaking the law. So if you see me bust a U-turn on you, this is worse than the police getting behind you, boy. This is worse than the state trooper getting ready to give you a ticket. If you see me busting a U-turn in the middle of the street, if I bust a U-turn in the middle of the street, I promise you, this is worse than getting pulled over by a state trooper. I and I'm doing it. I'm doing it hard. I can't wait to start something. You know what I'm saying? I don't put when I pull. Listen, let me let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something about that box shift. So if y'all remember the box shift, you got the, you know what I'm saying? You got the you got the gear shift thing right here on the side. 
You know what I'm saying? So when I pull up, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Put that thing in part. I'm already aggressive. I'm aggressive because I, I'm already knowing what's going to happen when I pull up. You know what I'm saying? Soon as I get out and I slam the door. You know what I'm saying? Dramatic effect me, please. Dude, I don't. Hey, 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 hey. I'm shoulder popping. I'm shoulder popping you out the top. I'm shoulder. Hey, he. Hey, he an old man. I don't care about you an old man. If you in the streets, old, young, I don't care who you is. If you somebody child. I don't care who you is. If you in the street, I'm going to treat you like you in the streets. Dramatic effect me, please. I jump out that Chevy. Hey, 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 my boy. <laughs> Look, I don't about, I don't about made him turn the 360 out, though. I don't about spin them around with the shoulder pop. The shoulder pop so strong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's up? What's up? He, man, what? Hold, he. Look, look, this how he, this how he do it, right? Man. Yeah. Hey, let, let me let me get that, bro. What, what, what are you talking about, little boo? What, what, what you got going on? See, what he focusing on the whole time is that my shirt look like this right here. You know what I'm saying? See, that's that, that's the thing about the streets right there. When I get out the car, if my shirt looking like this, you already know. Be nice. Be nice. Talk to me nice, please. Please talk to me nice. He said, man, what, what, what's going on? What, 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 what? <laughs> Listen, look, 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 look. When I get to doing that right there, they they know what's happening. Oh, what, 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 what's going on, boo? Hey, they, they know what's going on. I said, oh, my brother told me to come get that. Man, 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 hold on. I just, I just got to talk. I just got to talk to you, brother. He told me anything. I said, listen to me. I'm going to say it one more time. My brother told me to come get that, bro. I ain't. I'm not here to talk. I'm not here to say none of that, bro. I don't care if it. When I say go get that money, go get the money. Because I have been gave the green light to do as I please in this situation until I get the money. I said, let's go get that. He said, man, I'm waiting on him to say something. He ain't got no business saying. Man, follow me to the house. I thought so. I get in the car. Do, 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 do. Then I'm, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> Just to let him know, I'm dead serious. Don't you drive above the speed limit too fast. Don't, don't start driving too fast like you won't get away from me. I'm driving this close to his bumper. I'm, I'm right on him. I'm letting him know the, the whole time. I'm still aggressive. While I'm behind you, the aggression won't stop until the money is in my hand. I'm on him. I'm on him. <laughs> so look, look, we pull up to the house, right? When we pull up to the house, I'm all in. Listen, he got that gravel. He got that gravel in his driveway. When you get in the driveway, he got a little hill. Listen, he got a little hill right there, and he got them rocks in there. I'm in that box shed. I got them 415s in the back. You know what I'm saying? 2,000 officers. That's the side of the out. You know what I'm saying? I done already pulled up to his gas house. Smack. <laughs> Disrespectful in all shapes, form, and fashion. But when I pull up in the driveway, he got that gravel. I done, <laughs> I done kicked up a couple of his rocks out here. You know what I'm saying? I done kicked up a couple of rocks. Got, I done fishtailed a little bit, got a little side. <laughs> you know, control that thing. Once it get out of control, you <laughs> pull up in the driveway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I sit right there and chill. He get out the car, hit me with this right here. I wave the gun. When he do like this, I hit him with the gun. All right. I'm in the, look, 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 look. When he, hold on, hold on, little boo. Dramatic effect me, please. I up that hammer. All right, all right. Go, 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 go get that ring. Ain't no sense in playing with you, sir. I got a weapon in here. I got a weapon in here. Go and go get it. Yeah. <laughs> the man, listen. He come out the house. He come out the house like this right here. But he got the money in his hand. I see the money. But he come out. He on the phone. He. Then he get the point at my car. He get the point at the vehicle. He get the point at the automobile. Who he pointing at like that? Who he on the phone with? I got I got a weapon in here. 
Who are you done called? So I done rolled down the window a little bit. I don't know if anybody roll like it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when you when people talking outside the car, you ain't got to get out. I just roll down the window a little bit just like so hey. I rolled down the window. He, guess who he talking to? Guess who he on the phone with? The same person who done told me to go get the money. The person that done told me to go get the money is my brother. And I done told my brother that made the call and told me to go get it. It ain't no understanding. When I pull up, ain't no understanding, bro. He owe you five grand. You ain't even, uh, listen, he like here. He walk over to the car. This is what he said. I got your brother on the phone. I got your brother on the phone right now. I got your brother. You, you, you out here trip. See, there you go. See, there you go. See, I don't care what my brother done told you. Now, now this is between me and you. You, you, you. you call yourself telling on me. You call yourself telling on me. I'm telling you, he called me, he told me to come get this money. Man, that's what I'm gonna come and do. Soon as he, see you, you see, see, I got I, I got trees on the phone right now. I got trees on. He feel now he feel like he can kind of bump me. Like my brother can also call call the shout off. Hey, hey, ain't no calling the shout out. You, you, you out here trip, I done hit the door. Toot, toot. Man, my brother told me, weapon in hand. I don't, why he on the phone? My brother told me, come get that money. Where is it? Man, you want to, let me get, let me see. What's up, bro? Weapon in hand. What, what's up, bro? Man, bro, I'm finna get the money where you at. I'm finna pull up on you. Cause, cause ain't nothing to talk about. He got the money right here. I'm finna bring it to you. If he got, I hang the phone up. Ain't no understanding with me. See, that's why you don't need to be out here hustling now, bro. That's why you don't need to be out here hustling now. Because as quick as he went to the house to get that money, he been having it. See, that what's wrong with people who be in the streets. Commercial break me one time for the one time. See, that what's wrong with people be in the street. Y'all be wanting to be in the street, but then you want to let these suckers talk, talk you out of stuff. Make you feel, man, I was trying to do this, and I was trying to do that, and I was getting ready to do this, and I, I was going to bring you the money. No, 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 no. You been had the money. If you been had the money, you should have been took care of your business. Because I'm the one who helping you take care of your kids. I'm the one who helping you pay your bill. You don't get to act like, oh, I'm just going to pay him when I get ready. When you, listen, when you come real and I'm still front you, if I'm front you what you buy, however you choose the rock. When you make my money, bring me my money. I don't, ain't nothing to talk about. See, that's how I will. My brother, I don't know what he was out here doing. My brother go get 36 and he'll front out a whole 36 and then he'll expect everybody to pay, pay him the money when they, no, 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 not me, not me. Let me get that. He count the money out. I get in the car. All in his ground. Call my bro. What's up, bro? Where you at? Man, bro, man, bro. Man, bro, man, bro, man, nothing. What's up? What's up, my guy? Bro, man, bro, man, nothing. I got the money, bro. We, man, you ain't had to pull up on that man like that and do all that, bro. I did. I did, though. I did. Do you want the money or not? Yeah, man, bring me the money, bro. I'm old Big Mike in them house, man. Go on, bring me the money, bro. You ain't had to do all that. Don't call me and ask me to do it then. Because you already know how I'm coming. I hang on the phone. Don't call me. Don't call me. See, that was one incident with my brother. That was one incident. Here go another incident. So one day, I'm getting my hair dreaded, right? Well, I'm, I'm, finna get, I'm finna get some dreads, you know what I'm saying? This is when I had my hair, you know what I'm saying? I miss my hair every now and then, but now I like what I got, you know what I'm saying? But look, check this out, because I'm 34, and I'm glad that I'm blessed to see 34. So one day, I'm going to get my hair, I'm going to get my hair dreaded up, right? <laughs> Rewind real quick. I'm laying in the bed one day, I'm, I'm, I'm about knocked out. You know what I'm saying? And when I'm resting, you know what I'm saying? The girl I was messing with at the time, don't come knock on the door. Don't come knock on the window. Cause she's she gonna go off when 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 I'm resting. All of a sudden, I do 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 do. Somebody knocking on the door. For, you already know me. I'm in the street first time. I, I grab for my I reach for the weapon. <coughs> she said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You ain't got yes I do. Yes I do. I don't know who that is. Oh no, she said. I'm finna go, and you know me, my little, you, <laughs> I'm young and managed, you know what I'm saying? She done got out, you know what I'm saying? She got the look, you know, she, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? She always got to be extra, even to go open the door. I don't know if that's natural, you just doing it. Dramatic effect me, please. She, <laughs> she grabbed the rope. <laughs> she done, this, this, look, 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 this she walking all hard on that car.
concrete floor. Pow, 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 pow. I don't forget all about somebody knocking, beating on the door. You know what I'm saying? I'm big, long. I done put the weapon down. I done wag, strong. You know what I'm saying? I done, my man in here done stood up. I'm talking about still. I ain't even standing at the door no, no more. You need to real come back to get it, didn't you? you know, so look, so when I hear the door, <coughs> soon the door open, I hear my brother. Man, man, what boo in, man, what boo in? I jumped straight up. I was cause I know my brother's voice when I heard it, you know what I'm saying? And I heard, I heard some panic in it. It was the tone. It was the tone, like somebody done got out of line. We're gonna have to check somebody. So he done, hey man, where my brother at? Like he didn't say hi, he didn't speak. It sounded like soon as she cracked the door, he bust straight up in there. You know what I'm saying? So I jumped straight up, man. What, hold up. What's up, bro? He said, man, you put your clothes on, bro. Put your clothes on. That's what. Keep keep in mind. He ain't got no strap. He ain't told me what's going on yet. You know what I'm saying? It's about 12 or 1 in the morning. You know what I'm saying? My gal, the first thing she say is, no, no, no. He ain't going nowhere with you. He ain't going to because she don't want me to go nowhere because she already know if I go somewhere, it might turn into a life sentence. She already knows, no, no, he ain't going nowhere with you. We is in the bed, whatever it is, it can wait till the morning. My brother, man, watch out, you don't know what you're talking about in between me. He done kind of shove, he done kind of shove my whole name off. Oh, hold on, hold up, bro. Now, hold on, let me tell you something. Dramatic effect me, please. You know, but listen, listen. Anybody that I'm with, all the family ain't going to be disrespecting nothing to mine. You know, <laughs> listen, married or not, you ain't going to say nothing about it. You ain't going to be shoving her neither. Hold up, he done, he done. Man, you don't know what you're talking about. This is between me and my bro. Hey, hold, hold on, bro. Hold, now, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But what you ain't going to do is come up here and be shoving nothing. You know what I'm saying? Watch out real quick, baby. Let me, let me holler. Let me holler do real quick. Because, <laughs> listen, we ain't finna make it wherever he trying to take me. Because I'm finna get ready to do it to him right now. Watch out. Watch out real quick. Watch out. Watch out, watch out real quick, man. She going at, you, you ain't going nowhere. She's still telling me I ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that she was trying to, you know what I'm saying, boss me around or nothing like that. She just know, you know what I'm saying, that I'm, I'm really with that. I'm really with that. <laughs> so my brother, when my girl go in the room, he, man, this dude this and this dude that, he just going off, right? He just babbling. He all over the place. He all over the place, right? He, do, 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 do. And I'm like, man, what, what, what happened, though? Man, I'm telling you, bro, man, these dudes, this, 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 and that. I said, man, I tell you what. I said, bro, we'll, we'll just take care of that in the morning, bro. I'm finna, I'm finna lay down. My brother, he don't disrespect me. You know what I'm saying? Because he already know. I, listen, listen, you'll lose a kneecap in here. Then my brother ain't never said what I'm about to tell you he said to me. I'm looking at him, he looking at me, we looking at each other. I said, bro, I'm going to catch you in the morning, bro. Good on. My brother pop off and say, oh, you done got you a little money. Oh, you acting like a little... I said, what? what you just say? He noticed when, when I said, see, he ain't told me what he was about to say when I was about to check him. He said, oh, 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 you don't got you a little money. You don't got you a little money. Oh, I know you, man, I know you, you, you act like a little. I said, what you say, bro? He, he seen me look in my eye. You, you are considered an enemy right now. I don't care nothing about no bloodline, no nothing. You are considered an enemy. And you get what? You done passed the threshold of that door. My man is already thinking two steps ahead. You done bust up in here, bro. We will, we will claim you as self-defense in here. Do you understand me? We, I will claim this as self-defense. I said, what you say? He said, man, bro, bro. Man, now he fumbling with his word. He trying to figure out what he finna say. He, man, 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 dude done shot mama cop. Dude done shot mama car, you act like you don't want to do nothing about it. Now that just changed the whole course of the conversation. Because you've been standing in this living room for 10, 15 minutes trying to explain something about somebody, somebody done did something. You done called me out my name because you try to manipulate me and convince me and persuade me to come with you. But the whole time you've been in here talking, everything that you talking, now what time did I hear you say somebody done shot my mama car? Because at this point, we, we're not calling. You're not saying our mama because if somebody shot our mom's car, you should never be here explaining this to me. 
you should have been wherever the situation happened, taking care of the business. So ain't no way me and you sitting in the same place right now having a conversation and you telling me somebody will shout out mama car and you in here. I, I said, what? I said, hold, I said, I said, now what? What you just say? I said, nah, who, 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 who shot Mama Cop? He said, man, dude, them, man, dude, them, dude, dude, He get to saying these people's names. So when he started saying these people's names, first, my first thought was, how, how we into it with them? Because it's a we now. It's a we now because they did something. They had no, they didn't cross the line. I said, how, how we beefing with them? Because y'all were just like best buddies. I got songs with this dude in the studio. But see, this is what happened. Let me tell you something. This is what had happened. I'm not knowing at the time my brother and this dude, they cool. I'm not knowing they both messing with the same girl. Commercial break me one time for the one time. Somebody just said it is a book. Yeah, it's a book. Commercial break me, please. Hey, I need everybody on here to double tap the screen. We got 1,300 people on here. I need every, every one of you, please. It ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with me making money. I don't make money on TikTok. Double tap the screen help push the live out. I need everybody on here to double tap the screen. If you ain't already following me, I need you to hit that follow button. <laughs> hit the follow button and double tap the screen. <laughs> I'm not bringing the wallet back on here because you're disrespectful. <laughs> you're disrespectful and you ain't got no amount of double tap the screen for me right here. <laughs> Double tap the screen. If you ain't already following me, hit that follow button. We got 1,400 people on here right now. Somebody just asked me, was it a book? I got a book. I got two. I got both books on sale right now. You can get both books, two for 35. Two for 35. If you already got the book, if you're enjoying the story time right now, do me a favor. Cash out me a dollar. Cash out me a dollar to OK So Boom 1. I need everybody to cash out me a dollar. Cash out me a dollar. OK So Boom one. Okay, so see it's only cost you a dollar right now to see me when I start touring, you know, the ticket to gonna be different. Just can't check me a dollar. But look, check this out. Okay, so boom. <laughs> okay, so boom, look, check this out. So after he tell me somebody done shot my mama's car, I said, uh, who? He telling me who these people are. I said, I said, hold hold on real quick. I go in the room, soon as I walk in the room, you know what I'm saying? My guest says, no, you don't need to go nowhere with him. You don't, you don't, you don't need. I said, no, 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 no. You know, and not that I disrespect my woman in no shape, form, or fashion, because I know she got, she got she got my best interest. Go to my website. I forgot to say that. My website is jtb3.org. jtb3.org. I need somebody to, to uh, tag my book. Somebody put my, my, my website in the comment section. In the comment section. jtb3.org. I got a message about this shirt. Hold on one second. You got to stay with me. I'm going to finish the story. Then I got a message for you. But look, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. JTB3.org. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. But look. So I'm walking out. I tell him again. Look, check this out. I said, nah, I'm finna, oh, I'm finna go take care of this business real quick. I'm going to be right back. You know what I'm saying? She stand down. You know what I'm saying? She, what else? What else? She know I thought I'm saying what I'm saying. It what it is. So I'm going to put my shoes on. <laughs> but I thought... I done already transformed. You know what I'm saying? This is a different me at this point. You know what I'm saying? Because if I go up here and I see somebody in the shop my mom's car, you know what I'm saying? It's about to be some problem. <laughs> it's about to be some real problem. So I jump in the car. As me and my brother ride, you know what I'm saying? He driving. I'm in the passenger. You know what I'm saying? He's still telling me all of this stuff just going on. But he really sounded like Charlie Brown. It's really wah, 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 wah. Because in my head, I'm trying to figure out what possessed a man to pull Know that's Tanya Cobb. Know that Tanya's son is boo. Pull his weapon. Point his weapon. Pull his trigger. Point it towards Tanya's cop, who is boo's son. See, I'm thinking something is mentally wrong with this man. Because it's got to be something mentally wrong with this man. Because this man thinking... If he was in his right mind, if he wasn't on no car, no narcotics, no drugs, no alcohol, no, I don't know. If he wasn't demon possessed, something had to been going on for him to say, that's Tanya's car, that's Boo's son, I'm going to pull my weapon, point the car, point it at Tanya's car, who is Boo's son, and pull the trigger. He's he, he a different individual, you know. He's he a little risky out here. He's a little risky, you know what I'm saying. He's he, he dangerous. So, so we pull up on the hill. When we pull up on the hill, the first thing I noticed before we even got to my mama's car was my brother's car was also up here, but it was right across the street. 
When my mama car parked it, my brother car is basically like five steps away. That's the first thing my brother said. I seen. I said, man, hold on. So we pull up. My brother, man, here go the cop. I don't want to talk to nobody. It's two, three people outside here. You know what I'm saying? When I get out the car, they all telling the same story. Man, yeah, bro, man, bro, bro, this, 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 this. I ain't hearing nobody because I'm really ready to go and hit every one of you at least one time because this man done pulled up and shot my mama's car. And, they, and everybody sitting here explaining. Y'all all explaining to me because everybody want me to do something. I I'd, I'd, you know, next time do something. Ain't a, next time do something. See, y'all the type of individual to pull your cameras out and start recording while somebody getting jumped on instead of doing something about it. Then when I get there, then everybody won't explain. Now, when it was going down, somebody, fah, 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 fah. some shot should have went out somewhere. Why are you waiting on me to get here? I'm going to turn this into the Wild Wild well, West in just a second. I'm going to turn into John Wick Part 3. Y'all seen John Wick 3? My man's a beast. This what's going to happen. That wasn't gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? And I, <laughs> listen, they don't want to see me now. I've been watching a lot of them tutorials. Oh yeah, I've been watching tutorials. I don't gotta go. I don't gotta go to the gun rack. Y'all been seeing them tutorials? Them tutorials when they. Pop, 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 pop. I've been watching tutorials. Did y'all see how quick the hand was on the drone? You know what I'm saying? Just as fast as I'm talking. I've been watching tutorials. Yeah, I've been watching. Listen, I've been watching tutorials. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. But look, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. So I get out the car, right? I walk my little bow legged tail over. You know what I'm saying? When I'm young, the man, when I'm when I'm in a managed mode, you know what I'm saying? My bow legged on the it go from seven to ten. But when I'm finna get aggressive, my bow leg go from seven to eleven. You know what I'm saying? It's a different kind of bow leg. You know what I'm saying? It's an it's an angry bow leg. It ain't a sexy bow leg. It's a, it's about to happen. I, I turn the light on out here because it's dark. I turn, somebody turn the light on. Is that a bullet hole right there? Oh, it's two. Take me to them. It ain't nothing to talk about no more. Take me to where these peoples live. Take me where they live. Take me where their mama live. Take me where their granny live. Take me where their baby mama live with their kids in the home with their baby mama. Take me where these people are. Because I don't see. These folks have got two bullet holes in Tanya's car. Somebody got to pay for this. So look, <laughs> we get in the car. Doo -doo. We bag up. My homeboy driving. Listen, let me explain to you. My homeboy is driving. My brother is sitting in front of me. I'm sitting behind my brother in the passenger. For everybody who don't know, commercial break me real quick, please. I begin a lot of people to ask me, asking me, tell me the story about your brother, how me and my brother ended up getting a fight in the penitentiary and I beat him up and I almost killed him. A lot of people been asking me to tell that story. And I, and I, I done told him a couple times, but I, I see a lot of people like, man, I can't believe you jumped on your brother like that. Let me give you some, I'm trying to give these people some background, how me and my brother got to this point. So in this story right here, this, this is another story, if you ain't just heard the story before that, this is one of these other stories where my brother was always manipulating me, taking advantage of me, He's, he, and he was a coward in a way, and he was always using me. And then commercial break over. So we get so we get in the car. We finna drive to where these people be hanging out in. They just so happen to be coming down the four-way. When they coming down the four-way, we at one stop sign, they at the other stop sign. All I hear my brother say is, there they go right there. And at the same time, I hear my brother say, there they go, bro. He kind of whisper it as if they can hear us all the way across the street. There they go right there, bro. It was one of them. You know, there they, there they go right there, bro. And when he say it, he starts sliding down in the seat. My first thought was this, man, this cute. You done came and got me up out of the bed while me and my girl is in here sleeping. Even though I done got me a little sneak peek of a cheek because she had to get out of the bed and come answer the door for you. And I got to see, you know what I'm saying? I got to see it wobble a little bit. Other than that, you came and got me out of the bed basically for me to get in trouble for you. Again. He, that ain't go right there, buddy. That ain't, that ain't go right there. He sliding down all the way in the seat. I said, man, look at this. When I get out, when I get out the car, I got, the, I got that iron behind me. I got that hand behind me. I open the back door. I step out. And when I step out, I'm behind the car door. So they can't see me, right? They can't see my body. They can just see my head. We at one stop sign, they at the other stop sign. I'm looking over at the stop sign and I'm like, man, let me holler. You know what I'm saying? I know they can't hear, 
but I'm kind of signaling them to tell, man, let me, let me holler at you, let me holler at you. You know what I'm saying? So finally, they flash the bright lights. We flash the bright lights. So I step out, you know what I'm saying? I step out from beside the door. I still got my hand behind my back. You know what I'm saying? And I start walking towards the door. Dramatic effect me, please. John Week 3 has been activated in me. You know what I'm saying? Now, John, John Week 2.0 has now been activated. You know what I'm saying? So as I'm walking, I'm like, man, dang, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to, I'm acting like I just want to talk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm acting like I just want to talk. So by the time I get close enough to the middle of the street to where I can take out running, I'm like, man, hey, man, what's up? Dramatic effect me, please. I throw the gun in the right hand. Hook, <laughs> hook. I let off all kind of rounds in the front windshield. I'm talking about the whole front windshield. You know what I'm saying? I, I know I'm, I'm on my way to jail. <laughs> I know for a fact. I just emptied the whole. I am most definitely fit to go to jail. I, I'm running. So by the time I get close enough to the. It's clicking. I done about shot the whole front windshield out. I run back to the car. When I run back to the. He's a runner. He's a train. I don't but while I'm running, listen, while I'm running though, I'm flagging my brother near my, I'm, but I'm still, I ain't ready to tap. I'm trying to tell them to pull up towards me. I guess and they in shock. As I'm running back to the car, they still, still sitting in the car. Man, come on, come And while I'm running, all of a sudden I hear, pop, pop, pop. Did they just, did folks just, is alive in there. <laughs> I get in the car. True story. This, this true story. This, it's in the book too. Commercial break me one time for the one time. What I'm gonna tell you, it's in the book. If you ain't read the book, go get the book. I got the book on sale right now. You get both of my books, two for 35. Go to my website, jtb3.org. Go to jtb3.org. I need everybody to do me a favor real quick. Double tap the screen. Pop, pop, pop. Now, this is the truth. I, it ain't not, listen, I ain't got no reason to get on here and lie. Let me say, let me tell you that right now. I ain't got no reason to get on here and lie. Every story you don't hear me tell about my life is dead honest truth. If you ain't already following me, I need you to hit that follow button. I got 1,100 people on here and I know 1,100 people ain't following me. If you ain't following me, hit the follow button and double tap the screen. So as I'm running, as I'm running back to the car, finally, I get in the car, right? When I get in the car and close the door, boom. The first thing, because I brought some extra rounds with me, I reached to grab the rounds, I popped the clip out, it's looking like a movie in here. As I'm loading the clip back up, as I'm loading it back up, my brother turned around, he still ducked down. Listen, true story. My brother still kind of laid down in the seat. He turned around, he looking at me, load the weapon. As I'm, I look up at him, I said, man, follow them folks. As When I'm saying this, my brother saying, bro, you real. R what? <laughs> oh, bro, you. <laughs> this is what he say. He kind of chuckle. He kind of chuckle with it when he say it. Like he is, like he being entertained. Bro, this is not for your entertainment. This is real. This is a threat. This, this was a threat. I took this as a threat. Somebody done shot Mama Car. I don't about I don't about to sit these folks up here to see the king. They don't take me to the king. I was about to send them. Yeah, I don't have much to bring. They won't go have nothing to bring. Don't me easy. I was gonna send them. Never offering. Take me to the king. I will send them. I don't have much to bring. They ain't got nothing. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm turning into a light show out here. This man gonna turn around and say, "Bro, bro, you real? You?" There's something wrong with this boy. <laughs> Listen, there's something wrong with this boy. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I may follow these folks, but if you want to hear the rest of that part of this story right there, you're going to have to go get the book. The link is in the bio. JTB3.org. Go get the book. But look, check this out. See, that? That's another situation right there 
with my brother. But no, 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 I'm going to give you this little part, then I'm going to end it. A couple of weeks after this situation happened, I go to get my hair dreaded. As I'm about to get my hair dreaded, this lady, this is a true story. I, I wish she was on here. She a voucher tech. She drop a bag of weed in my lap. She drop a, she drop a bag of that cannabis. When she dropped the bag, I open the bag and look in it. I see what it is. She said, roll that up. I said, I said, I don't know how to roll. She said, what you mean? You don't know, how you don't know how to roll and you smoke? She's standing in front of me at the time. Well, she on the side of me. I'll tell you how she got it from me. She's standing on the side of me. I said, I said, what you mean? I said, I don't smoke. She said, you don't smoke? I said, I, don't, I ain't never been high a day in my life, still to this day. I ain't never did a drug. I ain't never popped no pill, did no white, smoked no weed. Back then, I, I had never been drunk or none of that. Ever. Ever. Still to this day. Ever. When I told her that, she come from the side of me and walked in front of me. I'm looking at her, she looking at me, we looking at each other. She said, uh, you ain't you you don't do no drugs. I said, I'll back up a little bit. I ain't never did no drugs. I'm doing drugs for what? She said, oh. So you 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 just doing you just out here doing all of this stuff sober. I said, yeah. She said, oh, you 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 crazy for real. I said, what? Because a person in they right, that makes a person crazy. <laughs> you know, the people who do drugs to do stuff are the ones you should be calling crazy. So what are the people who do drugs that do stuff sane? Is that what you're saying? That ain't making sense to me. That ain't making sense to me. I, I don't need drugs to know <laughs> that I need to do that. That don't make sense to me. So look, check this out. Check this out. That's another situation. That's another situation right there. I'm going to give you another situation with my brother. My brother was the bird man. And I, don't know if, I don't know how many of y'all done heard the story of the $125,000 uh, safe case when I hit the leak for the $125,000. My brother didn't even go with me. I'm giving you, I'm giving you background so you understand what happened. He didn't even go. I gave this man sixty thousand dollars. I gave this man sixty grand. Guess what he gave me in return? Not a penny. My brother didn't give me a dime. He didn't give me nothing. I gave him sixty thousand dollars. Sixty. Guess what he did? Broke bread with his friends. Went and bought him some bricks. Went and bought him some cars. My brother just balled out. He didn't give me a dime. He figured, oh, that's a little brother. You know, he'll do what he do. I'm going to give you another situation. My brother ended up going broke. Blowed his money. He come get me one day, right? He come and get me. He had an SS Impala. He ain't never let me drive the SS at all. This night he come to get me. When I get in the car, we sitting in the car for a little bit. He say, oh, yeah, I'm the little brother. He said, oh, he said, you want to drive? He ain't never asked me if I want to drive the S. Yeah, I want to drive the S. Yeah, he older than me. You know what I'm saying? He, he three years older than me. My sister five years younger than me. I'm 34. My brother 37. So look, check this out. <laughs> so I'm driving the S and I noticed the whole time my brother... Commercial break me one time for the one time real quick for the person who said they got their books today and they wasn't autographed. My apologies for that. But for the last two months, I've been so busy, you know what I'm saying? Excuse me. I done actually got my sister to do my shipping. So I ain't had access to my own books, so I ain't been able to sign them here recently. So my bad. But look, check this out. Check this out. So, <laughs> so this man, listen. This man go broke, right? We driving. He don't say nothing. When we get back to the, because I'm like, man, I'm, bro, I'm finna go home. Because I noticed the whole time in the car, he riding and he ain't saying nothing. So when we pull back up to the house, he punched the dashboard. Boom. When he punched the dashboard, he started crying. Who is that right there saying three, two, one? When he punched the dashboard, he started crying. When he started crying, I'm like, I'm like, man, what's up? I'm like, what, what's up? A stamp ain't authentic to me. I can't do that to my, to my people. I can't do no stamp to my people. If I can't do it with my own hand, I just don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, so, <laughs> so I asked, bro, I'm like, man, what's up? My brother tell me he done ran through all this money. 
by the time my brother was 19, 20 years old and no exaggeration, my brother was probably worth a quarter million dollars. Literally. By the time he was 19, 20, my brother was probably worth a quarter million dollars. At this time, hold on, I'm 17, so my brother 20 at the time, maybe 21. He worth a quarter million dollars at the time. I'm saying because I was 17, the woman I was living with at the time was 25. And when my brother say that, I said, huh? Because I'm thinking, this man was just buying five bricks. Where all the money go? Where did all the money go? After that, that's when I hit the lick and I, and I, broke, and I broke bread with him. But guess what? He run through that money. When he ran through that money, I had my own plug at the time. I turned my brother on to my plug. I turned him on to my plug. I ended up getting locked up, going to juvie. When I went to juvie, I wasn't in there 70, I wasn't in there probably wasn't 72 hours because I knew if I was in there over 72 hours, my girl was gonna start cheating. Anytime the police lay the cuffs on you and you going down the booking, you got 72 hours to get home or somebody gonna be, somebody, listen, they gonna be, listen, somebody gonna be dropping pin giver. I got 72 hours to escape, but she's out here, she's a chill. The point blank period, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had 72 hours to get home and she, she's out here cheap. You know, she's out here cheap. Especially after I don't be giving the good do what I'm giving. When you, listen, let me tell y'all something. See, a lot of y'all will probably disagree, but it, a lot of y'all will probably disagree because you ain't had to do it that I, that I got. You know what I'm saying? When you got good do it like this, you're, you're turning a person to, to a freak like you. You know what I'm saying? When this, when you, when, when you giving good do it like me, you're turning this person into a freak. So after three days, after three days, listen, the monster is gonna be activated. They gonna need somebody to scratch that itch. Most definitely not gonna be able to scratch it in the same way I scratch it. But they most definitely gonna have urges out of this world. So I'm knowing with this 72 hours, she's gonna need somebody to come and take care of the business. You know so she's gonna need somebody. She gonna need that. So look, check this out. I got to escape. So look, look, look. I escaped out of juvie. When I escaped out of juvie, I called my plug. Guess what my plug tell me who I done turned my brother on to because he done jacked off his plug and spent all his money. Guess what he tell me? Oh, your brother ran off with a phone and a baby. He did what? My brother done ran off with some work that I done turned him on to my plug? Listen, I done been out here. Listen, I done smacked people around for you, jacked people up for you, went and got money for you from other people who owe you. I done up the iron on people. I done turned into John Wick for you. Now you done ran off with the plug money? Now you done ran off with the... Who is that right there saying they didn't believe him? Most definitely had that kind of money. So look, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Now, now I'm going to get to... Now I'm finna get to the fight. Now, I could give you more stories of that, but now I'm finna get to the fight. And do me a favor real quick. Let me commercial break real quick. If you're not already following me, hit the follow button. If you're not already following me, pop, pop, hit the follow button. I need everybody to double tap the screen. Now, my brother wasn't getting high at the time. I need everybody to double tap the screen. And if you're not already following me, hit the follow button. Double tap the screen. And if you're not already following me, Hit the follow button. To this day, we still don't know what happened to the money. Me, I think I know what happened to the money. What happened to the money was Young Jeezy came out. Young Jeezy came out talking about turning one into two. And when Young Jeezy came out talking about turning one into two, see, all the dope boys thought they could, they could turn one into two. But turning one into two, guess what it did? It made the work bad. So when it made the work bad, he started taking all kinds of losses. When, he started, when you start taking losses like that, the, the law, it happens so fast. You go get five bricks and you try to turn them into ten, and guess what? You done messed up the money. You done messed up the money. So look, check this out. <laughs> commercial break. Commercial break me real quick. Hey, if you ain't already following me, hit the follow button. And the stories that I'm telling is in this book right here. It's in this book, The Life of Ubay. If you ain't already got it, go get it. Go get the book. I got a two for one sale going on. You can get both of my books right now for 35. JTB3.org. Let me I'm gonna finish the story, man. JTB3.org. 
Yeah, my daddy's still locked up. My daddy got two life sentences. My brother, he homeless right now. He live on the street. We'll get into that, though. <laughs> but look. <laughs> but look, 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 look. Check this out. So I get to the... So I catch my charge in 2007. Special aid beta robbery, special aid beta kidnap, first degree premeditated murder. Then I had three counts of felony murder. Then I had an additional escape charge because I escaped out of the jail. When I escaped out of the jail, before I escaped out of the jail, my brother ended up getting locked up on the dope, on the dope charge. This is the escape case right here. My brother ended up getting locked up on the dope charge. So by the time I catch the escape charge, they sent me to the penitentiary. When they sent me to the penitentiary, my brother ended up taking his time. I think it was like a five or a six year sentence. He probably won't have to do number two, three years on. After my brother take his time, I'm already at the penitentiary. I'm just waiting to take my time. So by the time my brother take his, he already at the penitentiary with my daddy. My daddy get him moved to the penitentiary where he at. So by the time I signed my deal, 2010, I'm headed officially in the penitentiary. My daddy get all three of us at the same penitentiary. Me, my brother, and my daddy. We all at the same We all at the same institution. But before I get to the compound, because I'm on close security at the time, before I get to the compound, <laughs> my daddy gets in trouble because he's selling tobacco. So they move him to a prison called Northeast in Tennessee. I get to the compound, my brother's out here, so I do what I feel is right. I get my brother moved in the cell with me. Listen, this is how the fight happened. <laughs> okay, so boom, look, check this out. I don't know what was going on with my brother mentally. I don't know what happened. It was like he started deteriorating mentally. So I, I had to treat my brother different. But at the same time, it's hard. It's hard. When, for one, you dealing with it. For one, I'm in prison with my sibling. Same mama, same daddy. And it's already hard on me to watch my sibling, who I know is mentally deteriorating, because it's hard for you to accept. Listen to what I'm going to say. I'm going to explain it to you. It's hard for you to accept. It's just like a child when you're trying to teach them, when you're trying to help them with their homework and you answering them something simple as what's five plus three. And your child saying stuff like six, uh, five. And you want, and you know it's more in your child. It angers you. It frustrates you. What is the answer? That's what you, you get to the point of where, quit playing. What a, and they may not really know the answer. My brother is deteriorating mentally. So at this point, I'm watching him. I'm trying to kick it. And it's hard to kick it with him because now he, I don't know what he got going on. And at this point, my brother only got about six or seven months left. He only got about six or seven months left in the penitentiary. I, I'm fresh on my sentence. I still got like seven and a half. I still got like six and a half, maybe seven years to do on my sentence. At the time, I'm hustling. I got dog food in the cell. You don't know what dog food is. I advise you not to ever find out what dog food is. But I got black tar in the cell. You don't know what black tar is. That dog food. You don't know what black tar or dog food is. That means you need to stay out of the street. You don't do nothing with it. I got tobacco in there. I got a cell phone in here. I got an MP3 in here. At this point, you know what I'm saying? I'm really doing time. I'm in the penitentiary. Like, I'm, I'm going to live comfortable. You know what I'm saying? I'm hustling. I'm doing whatever it is I got to do to survive in here. I'm not calling home being a burden to nobody because my daddy told me when I got there, don't you be calling home being no burden to nobody. So I come to the penitentiary. I get it how I live. You know what I'm saying? I live what they call live off the land. So at this point, when my daddy done got shit, we got a boom box in the cell. Boom boxes is grandfathered in. You don't know what grandfathered in. That means you don't know nothing about the penitentiary. We got my daddy's boom box because he done got shipped and left it. So we in here, you know what I'm saying? We bumping that old Jesus. I went from old school Chevys to drop top Porsche. I'm in the cell, you know what I'm saying? Cell phone in here and everything. We living good in here. Plenty of commissary. But it's count time. This is where the problem come in. It's count time. My brother got the boom box playing all loud. He got the boom box playing. I told bro, I said, man, tell you, you got to turn that out, bro. It's count time. My brother going to tell me. I'm looking at him. He looking at me. We're looking at each other. He talking about, man, bro, I ain't turning nothing off. <laughs> bro, I got dog food in here. He going to say, man, bro, I don't, I, don't care, I don't care nothing about that, bro. That ain't got nothing to do with me. 
What you say? See, at the point where I don't care who you in the cell with. I don't care who you doing your time with. At the point of both of us in this cell, we both in here. And I'm telling you, I got some men here that don't need to be in here. Not only is you my seller, you my brother. But the minute I hear you say, I don't care what you got going on, penitentiary rules is in effect at this point, homie. You are no longer a seller. You are no longer my brother. You are another inmate to me. You are a number. You are considered an inmate right now. That That's it. Penitentiary rules is in effect. Blood is blood has nothing to do with this no more. Because you don't care. I just told you what I got going on. Count time ain't number 45 minutes. You telling me within 45 minutes, you can't turn this radio off, but you willing to let the radio play loud for the police to come in this cell, catch me in here with some, give me another street char, put some time on me. You telling me you don't care? That's like a person who driving down the street and ain't no emergency, but they texting and barely and, and not paying attention to the road. And you could and you was five minutes away from home. The, the same person you was texting was five minutes away. You was five minutes away from the same person you was texting, but you texted on the road and then you you hit somebody and you and then somebody passed away and died. You could have waited five minutes. You could have waited five minutes. It's four to five minutes and said you telling me you don't care, man, bro. I don't care what you got going on. Soon as he say that, I grabbed the radio. Fire! When I grabbed the radio, I snapped. I snatched the plug out the wall and everything. I throw it under the bed. I said, man, bro, you throw the radio. I said, man, leave that. Don't grab that radio, bro. I got too much. I got too much stuff in here. And the police ain't finna come here. If, and I said, if, 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 if that's how you feel, bro, and they come here, you gonna take the charge. Dramatic effect me, please. This man ain't gonna say, I ain't, I ain't taking no charges, bro. I ain't taking no charge. But then you ain't finna play the radio then, bro. Cause at this point it's in tone. Everything done changed. Veins popping out, veins popping out my arm and everything. The look in my eye, you is not my brother right now. You is not Tanya's child. I don't know who you are. I, man, bro, watch out. He the, man, bro, I'm finna listen to the radio. I, I stand back. Bro, you not finna listen to the radio, bro. That's over with. That's over with and done, bro. We, you, you not listening to no radio. He gonna stand up. When he stand up, you know what I'm saying? I'm already taking that as, you know what I'm saying? That's an issue. That's an issue. Go, we in the penitentiary. So when, when he stand up, he, man, bro, I, we both got dreads at the time. You know what I'm saying? We both got dreads at the time. I had already, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, you can see that. You know what I'm saying? I, I already been working. You know what I'm saying? I'm still that anyway. I said, I said, I said, whoa, <laughs> what was that, bro? He said, man, bro, you know, he kind of jumped at me. My mind go blank. Right there, immediately. Penitentiary rules is most definitely in effect. Because the only thing I had at that point was a flashback. Then this is what I'm going to tell you. Only thing I seen in that moment was somebody who constantly keep mistreating me. Constantly taking advantage of me. Constantly, constantly manipulating me. Constantly not caring what happened to me. But I constantly done put my life on the line for you. Took up for you. And you know I got six and a half, seven more years to do. And you still, and you jump at me like, I'm like, wait a, hold up, wait a, wait a minute. I step back. I step back because I ain't want to do it to him. But I do it to you in here. I step back. I said, bro, you might want to, you might want to sit down and chill, bro. I said, that ain't what you want to do. Man, bro, you ain't going to, he said, man, bro, you ain't, bro, you ain't going to do nothing. He, he sit down on the bench and I told him, I said, bro. That's on granddaddy, bro. If you ever heard me say that, anywhere in my past, why I done said on granddaddy, it was consequences behind that. I said, bro, that's on granddaddy. You get up like that again, bro, it's on him pop. My man get up off that seat. He get up. When he got up, he kind of he kind of just chilling, right? <laughs> he talking. That was up. He walked over there by me. When he walked over there by me, kind of when he jumped, I moved out the way. He he jumped and then he kind of swing at the same time. When he swing, I pushed him on the wall. <laughs> Listen, Jean Claude Van, <laughs> Jean Claude Van Damme in here. So dramatic, affect me, please. The penitentiary rules is in effect. He jumped, I 
Boom, boom, boom. It, it's all with. I done two pieces them two, three times. Put them in the wall. Boom, boom. Come here. Boom. By that time, my mind done went blank in here. You finna touch anything in the field. I promise you. You's an inmate at this point. You is not my blood. We, we have no kinship at this point. I done told you not to get up. That was on granddaddy. You still trying to mistreat me here? I done pushed him into the boom, 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 boom. All you hear is skit, 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 That's all you hear. But the only skit, 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 is my feet because I'm dragging them all over the place here. I'm blank though. I'm blank. I'm not even realizing really what's going on. I'm tired of being mistreated though. I'm tired of being mistreated. So by the time I get him on the ground, I don't wrap my hands up in his dreads. And I'm, I smack him like four or five times. Fah, fah, fah. And then I'm, I'm sitting here looking at him and I'm talking to him at the same time because I'm just that mad. I'm just that angry like, bro, I done told you, bro. And as I'm talking to him, I finally told him, I said, look, check this out. I said, look, check this out. I said, when the doors pop, that means with count clear. I said, when the doors pop, I'm going to get a cell change, bro. You don't have to move. It, it's over with. You can't stand it. It's over with, bro. He still, man, and he started telling me. He said, bro, you tripping. He said, bro, you tripping. And I'm hearing him say it. It's registering, but at the same time, I'm like, no, you don't get it. You've been doing this to me my entire life. Now I have responded, and you saying, I'm tripping. No, 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 no. You've been tripping. You've been taking advantage of me, manipulating me, been treating me some type of way. I respond, and it's I'm tripping. That was up. So when I get up, I put my I put my foot right here. When I put my foot, when I put my foot right there, I told him, I said, you gonna stay right there until the count clear. I'm not knowing because I done blacked out that the police done came by and did their count. When the police came by and did their count, he seen what was going on. He go call for backup. I done let my brother up off the ground. He wiping blood off his face in the in the sink. I'm standing back on the wall. The police rush in. <laughs> don't move. Don't move. I like, man, what's going on? He was like, man, the officer came back and told me he seen what you was doing and such and such and such and such. So I done put my hands up. When I put my hands up, I'm looking at my brother. He looking at me. We're looking at each other. I'm like, that's my blood brother. Like, we was in here wrestling. And he was like, no, he explained what the officer saw. So there's no way I could have got around there. They tried to charge me with assault. They take me and my brother to the hole. The, luckily, they didn't search the cell because I had all of that stuff in the cell. I had it stuffed in the mat. They didn't search the cell. They just made us pack our stuff up and they took us to the hole. When they take us down to the hole, I'm in one cell, my brother in the cell next to me. And while he's sitting next to me, I'm going off on him. I'm telling him, bro, if they find anything, you gonna take that charge. Cause that, I'm thinking about what you caused this, man. You caused this. And the only thing my brother kept saying was, man, bro, man, you tripping, bro. Bro, you tripping, bro. Bro, man, you tripping. That's all he kept saying. And still to this day, when people hear me say, I beat him up in the cell and I'm going to kill them. They say, man, you was tripping. No. People get tired, man. People get tired of being mistreated. People get tired of being used. People get tired of being ran over. And then when a person responds, because let me tell you something, you can't control a person's response. Because what you done did, you don't know the damage you, you done did. You don't get to say how far a person can go. I been for game, we're we finna get on that though. You don't know how far Somebody gonna go after you done ran them over and over and over and over and over and you still showing you'll do the same thing if I allow you to. 
It's people out here that, 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 that a lot of people are on this line right now who come in right now. It's a lot of y'all connected to people who you done told over and over and over to stop doing what they doing to you. Quit treating you the way that they treating you. Quit saying the stuff that they saying to you. Quit running you over the way they running you over. Quit trying me the way that you trying me. Quit, look, quit, quit, quit. What is you doing? What is you doing? You think I'm stupid? You think one plus one don't equal two? What, what, what do you think this is? It's a lot of people right there. You fed up to the point where if you respond, they're going to say you crazy. If you respond, they're going to say you was out of control. When you respond, they're going to say you was wrong. When you respond, they're going to say you tripping. When you respond, it's the end of the world. But you been pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, and pushing it. And I've been allowing it. I've been allowing it. Now I'm at the point, I'm over the edge. And when I respond with aggression, I'm wrong. Mm -mm. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Hey, look, y'all know I got a message and I, I feel good right now. I hope everybody on here feeling good. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm a lot. Let me tell you something. And, oh yeah, for the people who ain't got the book, go get the book, man. Go support the kid. If you done enjoyed the story, go get the book. The link is in my bio on my page, jtb3.org. Go get the book. If you already got the book and you enjoyed the story time, cash out me a dollar. Okay, so boom, one. Listen to me real quick. Check this out. Y'all ride with me real quick. If you ain't already following me, hit the follow button. If you're not already following me, hit the follow button. Listen, I didn't grow up in no church. I don't know how many people on here did. I didn't grow up on. A, I didn't grow up in no church. I got took the church though. Every now and then, you know, I was the kid who went to sleep and got pinched. I was told to wake up. You know what I'm saying? I didn't understand what was being said at the church. It, 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 and, and as a kid, I, I don't even understand why they take kids to the church like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I really think it's a form of brainwashing. But look, check this out. But one thing I did grab hold of. One thing I did grab hold of was faith. Listen. One thing I did grab hold of. Yeah, I said, nah, I ain't well, I ain't talked to him in a while. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit on that. I'm gonna hit on that. One thing that I grabbed hold of, even if I didn't understand the scripture, if I didn't understand the pastor. If I didn't understand my granny, if I didn't understand my aunties, if I didn't understand anybody who tried to, to tell me something about the word, it was something deep down in my soul, it was something deep down in my spirit that always made me realize and, and, and know that I could be, I was connected to something higher than me. It was something in me that let that always told me. It's somebody that I can talk to that I can't see, that I can't feel, that I can't touch. It's got to be something above everything that my spirit has got to be connected to. And in order for me to even think that way or feel that way, I had to have some form of faith. Because faith, faith is the substance of things, so forth, the things that you cannot see. I... I had an understanding that it's got to be a greater power somewhere. It's got to be a greater power. When I look back, now, now, let, me, now, now let me get into the message. When I look back into my life, not just the murder case, not just the murder case, not just the kidnapping, not just the robbery, not, not just the 10 years that I did in prison, but when I go back and I look at making the girl drink the bleach, how many people I had shot at, how many people I had robbed, all the drugs that I had sold. When I go back and I look at all the things that I did, something in me still made me pray. It's people who run in the streets right now who don't want to be in the street. They only know one way of living. I was one of them. I only knew one way of living. And all the people that was in the church, them was the people that talked about me like the dog. Them was the people who lied to me and was telling me they was praying for me. And those same ones who was praying for me, guess what? They prayers never made it. They prayers never made it because they did not believe what they was praying for. Watch 
Some people that tell you I'm praying for you, you need to tell them for you ain't even got to pray for me. Because a lot of these people not even saying they pray. A lot of these, how you don't tell me you don't pray for me? You ain't even praying for yourself. You don't tell me you praying for me. And when I can tell, I can look at the conditions of your life. I can look at I can look at how you living, what you have, where you been, where you going. I can tell who you hang around. And you don't tell me you praying for me. Ain't no need you praying for me. Your prayers ain't making it. You just ain't it, it just ain't making it. And then look, check this out. This, 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 this. But even though I was in the streets lost and broken, didn't understand what was going on, it was something in me that just grabbed hold of this faith. It was something in me that made me believe. Before I got to where I am now, I felt it was something on me. I knew it was something on me. I just, did, I just never had the opportunity to get in the atmosphere and an environment to, 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 get, to feed that part of me. To, to get the nourishment for it, for it to flourish. I just I knew it was there. I just never had an opportunity to let it grow. I didn't have, I never had an opportunity. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, folks. Without faith, it is impossible to please the most high. In my mess, it was something I was carrying that automatically made him continue to shield me. It's, it's, it's a hinge of protection on people who the church call lost because even in their darkest moments, they have the most sincere, genuine prayers because guess what? They do not want the life that they in. I didn't want it. I was playing the cards that I was dealt. It's something about the people who are that the church calls so lost. But they listen to me. Let me tell you something. Just like the, like with homeless people, you know how many people walk by homeless people and they judge them people based off of their condition and where they are, what they don't have, how they smell. They don't have this. They don't have that. But guess what? Them people, the most high probably smile down on them people so much. You know why? Because some of them probably have the most genuine, sincere prayers. They have the most genuine, sincere prayers and all of what I was going through I, I guarantee you he heard me because he knew I didn't want I was just playing the hand that I was dealt while all of these people who was in the church were standing back and saying what he crazy he going to two places jail or the graveyard he ain't gonna be this he just like his daddy he it would that's what they were saying over and over and over and over and over. Get what the scripture said. What the enemy meant for evil, the most high turned and used it for good. In order for what? For many people lie to be saved. That same person that you put your mouth on is the same person that the most high going to make later on that you're going to have to call that person phone and ask him to talk to your child. It's going to be the same person you're going to have to call and you're going to have to ask him for some advice. It's going to be the same person you're going to have to watch on social media to get your encouragement. It's going to be the same person you're going to have to look at and you're going to have to say, wow, this the same person the most high is going to use for you to say, Yeah, I watched it. I watched it. Listen to me. I don't beat my chest when I say that. I come, I speak from, listen, I'm so grateful. I'm grateful for the position that I'm in. Listen to me. I promise you, I'm grateful. I thank him all the time. I, 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 can't, I can't say it enough because I know it's only one reason I'm here. It's only one reason I'm able to do what I'm able to do. It's only one reason why I can teach. So people look at it and call, people look at my social media platforms and the books and the clothes and all they look at it and people want to define it and call it some kind of a uh, uh, success you know what i'm saying it ain't, it ain't success to me i don't i don't i don't i don't define success by the things that you have i don't define success by that i don't care nothing about these things get what this stuff will perish he said where your heart is is where your treasure is at this stuff will perish i can set this on fire right now i can set this on fire this is a this is material. This ain't nothing. Then what he what he what he talk about is the fruits of the spirit. The fruits of the spirit are the most important things in life to have. Because I promise you right now, if the most high chose to shake the earth right now, he could shake the earth right now. He could shake and shut down the internet in the morning. 
He can shut down your computer. He can shut down the, the, the company that you work for. If the most I choose to, he can shut it down tomorrow. He can make something go through. The, he can send a virus through the computer and then it'll shut it down. It's so many people who focus on these tangible material things and money. I understand you need money to survive out here. But you, you, it's where your heart is at with it. It's where your heart is at. And so many people don't understand that. So many people, listen to me. I tell a person, look. Go get a book. I got two for 35 right now. Man, I don't want to read no book. And they're going to spend $500 on Gucci. They're going to spend $500 on Gucci on the brand. That's your money. Do what you want to do with it. But guess what Magu Guess what Gucci is? It's material. Guess what Louis is? It's material. Guess what that Mark Jacob is? It's material. Guess what that Philippe Patek is? It's material. Guess what that chain is on your neck? It's material stuff. If he chose to shake the earth and shake, this stuff don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing. But guess what? They got so many people. They got so many people lost and wrapped up in that stuff. They got so many people lost and wrapped up in material. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So many people want, they want status. They want status. They want status, man. They want status. They want people. They want people to look at them, and and and, and they 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 want to be something that they not. They want to be something that they not. No substance. That's true. But let me tell you something. It's something about faith. And I, I wore this shirt. You know what I'm saying. Most time when I'm wearing shirts like this, I got a message. This this message right here. Faith don't fall. Faith don't fall. And I'm gonna tell you why I say that. If you're familiar with the scriptures, you, if you're familiar with the passage with Peter, when they woke, when they was on the boat and they had left, they had left the king Yeshua. Who I like to call him Yeshua, who we know as Jesus. And when they looked back and they seen, and when they seen him walking on the water, first thing, first thing it did was spook him. First thing it did is spook him. And I'm gonna stop right there. A lot of times when you see things that don't, that's un, that's that's not natural. When you see things that's not natural, a lot of things that we see, a lot of things that we see that don't look possible, it's just like with me. It's just like with me, for instance, I use myself. When people look at me now from back home and they see me go through, I already know that. When, when they see me, after all the stuff that I done been through and after all the stuff that I done did, and they see what I'm doing now, to me, that's a form of walking on the water. So when they see you walking on the water and they look at you, the first thing they go, they not going to understand that. When you moving and operating in that faith, listen to me, they will not understand when you walking in faith. It's not going to look right. It's not going to sound right. It's going to look weird, sound weird, because you're doing something that don't seem natural. When you're doing something that don't even seem possible, you're doing something that do what? It don't seem possible. But look, check this out. We all got to have that heart of Peter. You got to have that heart of Peter to say, when you see it, you either go, you either going to want to either, you either going to want to gravitate to it or you're going to want to turn from it. You can't let faith, you can't let faith scare you. You, you can't, when you see somebody op operating in faith, you are, you should want to attach yourself to that faith versus saying, nah, I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to do that. He tripping. He is out there walking on that water. I'm not, I'm not finna do that. I'm gonna stay on my job. I'm gonna stay on my nine to five, just paying me weekly or bi-weekly, and I'm I'm gonna know my check is coming. I'm not finna jump out there and walk on no water and, and, and try to start no business because listen to me, that water can you can you can you can drown in that water at any given time. I'm gonna stay on my job. That's not what's going to happen. You're not going to say, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and stay in this re abusive relationship or either I'm going to go ahead and stay single because I done been hurt too many times. I'm not going to jump back out there on that water because I'd rather be by myself or continue to be abused before I get out there again. Listen to me. Too many people, when they see something else operating, then, then, then he always send you an example. He send you an example and he show you this is the same thing I can give to you. And you see that person walking on that water by faith. You see that person walking on the water and what you will say to yourself, I ain't going to jump on that water. You got to have the heart of Peter. Peter was over there with other people. Peter was the one who said, if you permit it, I'm going to come out there and walk on that water with you. He said, I'm going to come and walk on the water with you. At the time, Peter said, you're going to come and walk on the water with you. Get what, get what the most I told. Go, come on out here. It's always somebody, listen to me. It's going to be somebody who's willing to help you. 
who already know how to do it. He was walking on the water not because he, he, he was all things. He was all things. He most definitely could walk on the water. He could do what he wanted to do. He could have walked up under the water if he wanted to. But at this point, though, he was willing to extend. If I can do it, you can do it. Peter walks out on the water. Pay attention to the scripture. Because in the scripture, it, it, it clearly lets you see that he walks for a second. It's a lot of us who, who step out on faith. We go for a second. We walk on it for a second. But then that doubt sink in. Doubt will kill you every time. One of my favorite scriptures, I think it's 2 Timothy 1 and 7. He said he didn't give us a heart. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't give us a, he didn't give us, he didn't give us he didn't give us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. And so many of us let that fear sink in. When fear sink in, they coincide with that doubt. That doubt gonna sink in, and guess what you're gonna start to do? Fall. The minute Peter walked out on that water and he started walking, he had it. But then he seen trouble. So many people see trouble. They see trouble in their business. They see trouble in their relationship. They see trouble in their friendship. They see trouble coming. And when they see that trouble coming, <laughs> that fight or flight mode can't kick in. You either gonna fight and fight gonna symbolize having faith. Or you going in flight mode and that flight gonna symbolize death. That, that flight gonna symbolize having doubt. And he and his mind and his spirit went into flight mode. And as soon as he went into flight mode, what did he do? He started to fall. He started to fall. He, and then when he started to fall, what the most I do? He stretched out his hand. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> Check this out. Not only has he let you, and not only has he told you and permitted you to walk out here on faith, to have faith and walk on the same water with him. He also done said at the same time, if you choose to step out on this water with that faith, I got you. But at the same time, if something scare you enough to the point of you start to fall and sink because of your doubt, I got you. So why is it you won't step out? He done already showed you through a demonstration of people. I got you either way it go. You either going to stay on the boat. If you stay on the boat, you never, you never take the chance. You never take the opportunity if you stay on the boat. The, 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 the mission, <laughs> listen, the opportunity is in stepping off the boat. When you step off the boat, he got you either way it go. If you walk on the water, I got you. If you get scared because you see some wind or you see some waves and you start to sink, I got you. Why would you stay on the boat? It don't make sense. It only makes sense if what? If you don't have the faith. If you don't have the faith, just stay on the boat. Because I'm going to tell you something. Faith don't fall. Point blank period. Faith don't fall. He got you. Either way it go. That's it. Either way it go. Too many people want to stay on the boat. Too many people want to stay on the boat. Oh yeah, if you I got this shirt too. This shirt is on my website as well. I got the shirt, t-shirt, and hoodie. I got these on my they on my website. JTB3.org. Faith don't follow. Faith don't follow, homie. Huh? I done been through it. We all have. I'm sure. We all done. We <laughs> we all done been through it. Faith done pulled me through it. I don't got all the answers. I don't need all the answers. All I know is, if, all I know is, if I if I stumble up a little bit and I reach out, he gonna reach up and grab me. <laughs> That's all it that matters. If I get out there too far and can't handle it, he gonna reach and grab me. He gonna reach and grab me. But yeah, I'm finna get ready to get up off here, man. I'm finna go grab me something to eat. A lot of people said I ain't been on here in a while. I'm gonna start trying to get back on here more. Uh, if y'all got any questions or something y'all wanna uh something you wanna hear me uh touch on any subject, 
DM me. I got my DM over now on my TikTok where anybody can message me, so you can message me. Uh, yeah. I forgot where I got these pants and I was out of town somewhere. I got three, I got three pair. You know, my, my favorite pair was blue. I no longer have them. You know, it's a story time behind that one. I'm actually, I'm, <laughs> I'm working on another book right now. I don't know what I'm finna eat. I don't know what I got to taste for. I'm finna go somewhere though. But look, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have this up on my YouTube too, man. Y'all be blessed. If you ain't got my book, go get the book, jtb3.org. If you enjoyed the message, you got anything out of the message, man, cash at me a dollar. Okay, so boom one. You want to get the shirt? The shirt is on my website. The sweaters and the hood and the hoodies is on my website. Thank y'all. Be blessed. I'm gone. One.